As a kid, I saw people yelling at the side of the streets without arms or legs, yelling for help. And I would look at them, couldn't help them because we had to run for our own lives. We knew the worst thing that will happen is dying. But dying was such a simple word in Afghanistan that it happened every day, so it was a regular thing. I would go outside, play with my friends, and I wouldn't know if we could make it through the next day. And when we, when we would go home, when it was dark at night, we would say goodbye, and we wouldn't say see you tomorrow. Because we never knew if there was a tomorrow. My determination has, has cooked in those 15 years in Afghanistan and it's now so tough that nothing breaks me. And I will get to where I want and I will get there with time. My character as a fighter is, I go for the kill. Uh, the moment I stand in front of my opponent, I don't see him as my opponent. I don't see this as a sport. I see myself a couple of hundred years back in the, in the gladiator time, that I have to do or die. It's do or die. And with that mentality at the back of my head, I start fighting. When I stand in the ring in the octagon, I'm not in this world. I'm in a totally different world. And uh, the only thing I think about is take out every moving object in front of me. I don't care, I hit hard. I get to him as fast as possible and strike as hard as possible. My father was a businessman and he was traveling all the time. Uh, my grandfather was there all the time and actually my grandfather raised me up and he raised me to be a righteous man and to be uh, to treat people right and don't pick anything from anybody no matter how strong they are no matter how powerful they are he said uh, in a man's world one day one day living with your head up is more worth than a hundred years on your knees so just live as long as you can as a man and die as a man People pay to see blood, people pay to see people get knocked out, and people pay to see uh, one guy physically beat up the other guy and impressively destroy the other guy. And I try as much as I can to show that to people, and I'm doing that for the fans, of course. To be an MMA fighter and to be different, you have to, you have, to have no mercy on yourself and definitely no mercy on your opponent 
and the word respect is the word that destroys everybody. There, is, there shouldn't be any respect in the octagon for anybody. You have respect, you destroy yourself. Afghan people do follow me and they are actually my motivation to fight. And I fight for a positive change, a positive uh, future of my country. And all I have uh, heard and seen in the last 11 years is just negative things about my country. And I want to put Afghanistan in a positive news headlines.